Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Revit MEP by BIM Technologies. And in this episode, we are going to learn about various tools for creating the HVAC layouts. So while we are, we will be learning the HVAC layout, we will see the various tools and the process by which we create an HVAC system along with creating ducts, understanding the fittings of the ducts, understanding how the routing is duct of the ducts is done, adding air terminals, diffusers and registers and so on. Now before we start adding the air terminals, let us understand about the tools which are used to create the HVAC layouts. So here in the ribbon we have the systems tab and you can see there is a model that we have been seeing working on in the previous videos. So in this we have the systems tab over here and there is a panel called HVAC. So under the HVAC panel you can see there is a tool to add or create ducts, create duct placeholders, add duct fittings, add duct accessories, create flex ducts, adding the air terminals and then we have the fabrication part then we have the mechanical equipments and the mechanical control devices so before we start with the mechanical design let's first of all activate the system browser from clicking right browser system browser here and let's understand about the system so you have got three system which is a mechanical system piping system and the electrical system and also in the project browser if you go down here and you will find that under the duct systems there are three system classification is done which is the exhaust air type is there the return air type is there and the supply air. so there are three types so if we click on the supply air type we find that the system classification is supply air and if you click on the return air type the system classification you would see that it is return air and the exhaust air type you can see that the system classification is exhaust air so here also you can see that there are various duct types for oval ducts rectangular duct round duct for flex duct we have flex duct rectangular, we have flex duct round. And for the duct fittings, we have got various duct fitting families like oval round transformation, oval, oval blank end, oval concentric taper and so on. And then we have different other options that we will learn how to add these while we are creating the mechanical system. Come to the system browser here. Now, let's see how we can i'm um, into the first what we need to do is we need to create a level of the plenum plenum is the level where we have to create for accommodating the air terminals or we'll create a plenum view from to add the air conditioner so to add a plenum level you have to go to the architecture tab take the level tool and from here take the type as plenum and let's say plenum level I'm adding for ground so I can add this plenum level here and name it as ground plenum so this is ground plenum and I'm having this height let's say at 3100 so overall height is 4 meters for the first floor so I can keep it as 36 or 34 3400 so the distance between the plenum and the first floor is 600 millis so I can create floor plans from the ground plenum so let me add this name as the ground floor plenum so if you want to add floor plans as well as so you can see that the floor plan is added for the ground plenum as well as the ceiling plan is added for the ground plenum. Now, 
to understand how to add the air terminals let us go to the ceiling plan let's say i go to the ceiling plan of the ground floor and i can see that there are ceilings so here the ceiling height is 2400 so i make it as 3600 so all of the ceilings that i have here i'm going to extend the height to 3600 select all instances in the entire project and make the limit offset to 3600 so the height of the ceiling is 3600 you can check from the section view here so you can see the ceiling height here let's say this is the 3400 height and if i want to add the ceiling height so you can see that ceiling height over here and we have the cleaning plenum level over here so if we want to go with the ceiling height let's say if we are selecting the ceiling so ceiling height here what we have kept is so we need to go to the ground floor plan and select the ceiling select all instances so you can go with the ceiling plan here let's say ground floor plan and uh, let me check with the templates so here we have okay so i'm changing the template to make i'm removing the template here right click select all instances modify ceiling in the entire project or that's fine so here we have this uh, ceiling plan over here and here we wanted to add the air terminals now in order to add, add the air terminals there would be three different types of air terminals you can add that is a supply air terminal diffuse air term, uh, that is the exhaust air terminal as well as the return air terminal so for that you need to load the family so if you go to the insert tab insert tab and there is a load family tool in the port panel choose the load family button here and it takes you to the air terminal folder so air terminal folder over here you see that there are various families of air terminal based on the type of air type of HVAC system is there you have a supply diffuser over here so I select the supply diffuser I take the supply grill I take the supply register and then I have the hosted one so I take a supply hosted air terminal so here if I wanted to load it choose the open option once you load it and then you have these different types let's say if you want to you know just choose the OK option from the catalog you exit from the catalog and now you're going to add the supply air terminal so in order to add the supply air terminal you need to go to the first you need to check the families that you have so here we have the families for the air terminal and you have got this different air terminals that is placed for the supply air so let's say if I wanted to take uh, so if I wanted to insert the air terminals in this particular space I am at the ceiling plan currently go to the systems you have the air terminal and I'm taking a hosted air terminal so here we have a supply diffuser and then you can take the supply diffuser as let's say you can take a 12 into 12 16 into 16 or 20 into 20 so I'm taking a 20 into 20 air terminal and this is a ceiling uh, hosted that means it is hosted on the ceiling so you are placing on face over here make sure the place on face tool is chosen and if you want to increase the size of it and make it equal to the ceiling you can go to the edit type and then you can say it is duplicate 24 into 24 24 inches into 24 or 600 into 600 you can say because we are working in metrics and then you can have the size diffuser width as 600 over here 600 and the height and choose the ok option now you have got the 600 into 600 now you can click on the ceiling and it will be so now you there are two air terminals that I am placing over here one alternate two bays over here so here we have 
in order to align it with the grid what you can do is let's say you can choose the align option here it is in the modify tab and you have the align option you can select the grid line and align it to the grid similarly you can select the grid line and align it with the grid so here we have got one two three four so if you want to see the section view of it you can click on the section view you can see the air terminals are placed at the ceiling so i'm going to the view and closing the other inactive view so this is a supply air terminal and you can see in the system browser in the in the unassigned you can see under the mechanical supply air you can see that these are the diffuser which is placed so you can see them in the plan view here ceiling plan view you can see it in the plan view also and now let's see the properties of the air terminal so if you select the air terminal here you can see the schedule level is 3600 the elevation is 3600 the host is a compound ceiling duct width that means it's talking about the width of the duct which is going to be fit up it's 152.4 millis the flow so if this is in liters per second you can have it in cfm that is cubic feet per minute so let's say i am giving the duct flow as 100 liters per second pressure drop is 12.44 pascals and similarly you can change the flow of all the air terminals over here and here for this air terminal you can see that you have the system classification as supply similarly if i want to add a return air terminal i can go to the systems over here and i can go here and click to the uh, to the insert option here load family and then i can take the return host so you have this return diffuser and then you can take a return diffuser okay this is, this is a return diffuser hosted and unhosted element so open and then you have got to define the types of the return diffuser from here so here you have the return diffuser go to the supply supply and you have the return diffuser hosted and it is a work plane based and it is having that width and height as 609 so what you can do is you can go to the systems again take the air terminal and you can see place on face so this is the option that you have so this is return diffuser work plane place based so you come to the ceiling plan first and then you go with the air terminal and then you can click here so this is the return air terminal you can see the symbol has changed over here and uh, if you if you want you can align them so you have the supply air so this is you can go to the edit type and you can change the width and the height and there are various so here we can see this is the return air you can change the down arrows as required so if you want to change the placement of it you can have a return air somewhere here so you can create a duct system out of it so this is how you create the air terminals inside a space so you can add more return exhaust or supply based on the fam the design requirement that you have so in the next session we will see that how to create ducts from the air terminals and uh, we will also see how the routing can be done through the air terminals thank you and don't miss to like and subscribe our channel and like the video thank you